Everybody's curious about how I have found the name Lorimar. I hung out a lot around Del Mar in the old days, and it was during the Del Mar season, so I flew my plane down there and landed at the Palomar Airport. And I finally looked up and I saw Palomar. Uh, my wife's name at that time was Laurie. So there you go. I looked up at the sign and I said, let's try Lorimar. <laughs> Lorimar Telepictures was really, it was just a bunch of young people and we kind of took advantage of that. We were very entrepreneurial in spirit. I think we had such interesting negotiations because there were no rules in those days. We were very determined. We had a really amazing camaraderie among us and uh, I think that just encouraged the product. It inspired loyalty too. You know, Lorimar, when we uh, made the deal with Warner Brothers, I think we had 19 shows on the air and nobody has ever done that. When you look at two companies today, Warner Brothers Television and CBS, the roots were all from Lorimar. And Lorimar was a time when just anything could go. If, if you could make money, if you could find a way to market something, there was nobody telling you you couldn't do it. It was a very informal company. Uh, we got rid of most of the uh, titles and it was, it was, uh, I, I love it. You know, remember when all the Rodney King riots came down and everyone's like running for home. Um, I, I wanted to go to work. That's where I felt safest. You know, the city's burning and it's like, I want to go to work. And again, just creating great shows. I mean, that was something we just genuinely loved doing. Everybody got along. Everybody really liked each other. We still do to this day. We're all still amazingly close, you know, and we will be. These are, you know. Uh, this, this is a great group. They don't, they don't make them like this anymore. They remember those days as being really great days, you know? It was, it was good. <laughs>